Welcome to Y Lecture Online. Here's part two of the problem that we started in the previous video. We've made it this far on the problem. We had a rather complicated circuit. We recognized it, that it was a bridge circuit. We then converted the top portion, which is a delta, into a Y, and then we combined the impedances until we ended up with something that looks like this. We'll continue now by first combining these two. Since they're in parallel, we're going to have to find it by taking the product over the sum. And we may want to take, let's say, let's call this uh, uh, ZA, ZB, and ZC. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first convert these into the magnitude and phase angle because that makes it easier to multiply. So if we're taking ZB, and we write that into magnitude and phase angle that gives us 0 0.2 and a phase angle of a positive 90 degrees. On ZC, that will be equal to, let's see here, to find the magnitude, we square those two, so we have 9.6 squared plus 2.8 squared, and take the square root of that, so we end up with, wow, exactly 10, that's pretty neat. So that would be exactly 10 in magnitude, and the phase angle, well, we take 2.8 divided by 9.6, 2.8 divided by 9.6, and uh, we take the inverse tangent of that. Oh, let me do that again. 2.8 divided by 9.6, now we take the inverse tangent and we get 16.26 degrees. All right, that would be 16.26 degrees. Okay, now we're ready to find the equivalent impedance of that parallel branch. So let's go ahead and do that. Z parallel, which would be equal to ZB times ZC divided by ZB plus ZC. So first we multiply, so we get 0 0.2 with a phase angle of 90 degrees and we multiply that times, uh, let's see, 10 with a phase angle of 16.26 degrees, and then we divide that by the sum of the two, which we can put into this format right here, that would be J0.2, and we add that to 9.6 plus J2.8. All right, that then simplifies to, so we're still looking for Z parallel, the product, 0.2 times 10, that would be 2, and the phase angle, when we add those together, would be 106.26 degrees. Divide that by the denominator, which would be 9.6 plus J3. Okay, now we want to convert that into the same format, magnitude and phase angle. And where's my calculator? All right, so the numerator, and we'll repeat that, so that's 2 with a phase angle of 106.26 degrees. In the denominator, we take 9.6, we square that, 9.6 squared that, and plus 9, take the square root, that gives us 10.06. For magnitude, 10.06, and a phase angle, well, we take 3, divide by 9.6, and take the inverse tangent, that gives us 17.35 degrees. 17.35 degrees. And so now, we take 2 divided by 10.06. That's a magnitude of, well, that's close enough, 0 0.20 or 0 0.199. I'll just call it 0 0.20, close enough, and a phase angle of 106.26, 106.26, and subtract from that 17.35, and we get 89.91, 89.91. All right, so now that we have the parallel impedance of ZB and ZC, now we need to add that in, parallel, in series with ZA. So now we get the total impedance, Z total, is equal to Z parallel plus ZA. So since we want to get that back into the format, we have the real imaginary part. We want to then convert this into the real imaginary part. Now notice this is almost 90 degrees. That gives us basically a zero cosine. 
and a 1 for the sine, so that would be 0 plus j 0 0.2. Now we're going to add that to our ZA, so we get the parallel branch at 0 plus j 0 0.2, we're going to add that to our impedance A, which is 13.6 plus J 0 0.8, which is equal to 13.6 plus 0.2 plus 0.8, that would be J 1. So this is our total impedance on the circuit. And then if we convert that back into magnitude and phase angle format, let's go ahead and do that. And where did my calculator go? There we go. 13.6 squared plus 1, take the square root of that, that gives me about 13.64. 13.64 with a phase angle of, so we take 1 divided by 13.6, take the inverse tangent of that, which is about 4.2 degrees. 4.2 degrees. The reason why I wanted it in that format, because now I want to find the current I, which is the input voltage V over the total impedance. The input voltage was 50 with a phase angle of 0 degrees. We divide that by the total impedance, that would be 13.64 with a phase angle of 4.2 degrees. And let's go ahead and do that. So we have uh, 50, okay, so we have 50 divided by 13.64, it gives us 3.66 or 3.67, 3.67 with a phase angle of a minus 4.2 degrees, and that of course would be in terms of amps. And this here is the current through our circuit. So again, summarizing, we end up with a kind of a complicated circuit, which we recognize to be a bridge circuit. Of course, for a bridge circuit, it's easier to take one part of the bridge circuit, identify it as a, as a delta, and convert it to a Y. Once we have the three impedances of the Y, we can add that to the impedances down below here, to end up with ZB and ZC, and we add that to ZA, which was the sum of Z1 and the 12 ohm resistor. Of course, look back at the previous video if you want to uh, remind yourself on that. Then, since this is in parallel, we have to solve the parallel branch, which is the product over the sum. Once we have the parallel branch, we add that to ZA to get the total resistance, and then we divide the total resistance into the input voltage to get the current to the circuit. And that's how it's done.